So you can see how he just cut a little spot and I'm staying in the row that he was chopping before. Today for What's My Snack? Oh, he was doing so good. Got clogged up again. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California. This channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. Fill her up. All right, corn harvest day four. I'm feeling better about today. My dad had his air conditioner looked at. Sounds like it just needed to be charged, so it got charged. Hopefully the AC will be good for him today. And uh, we're rolling. So hopefully everything will go smooth today. It's gonna be a good day. We're starting way earlier than we have been. It is 10 o'clock. And the last few days we've been starting at like one or two because we've been having to work on equipment all morning. So we're starting nice and early. Um, we don't normally start super, super early, like seven, eight, because there's like dew. And when the corn and stuff is like wet like that, it just doesn't go through the harvester as well. Well, and as you can see in my last video, it doesn't go through great when it's super dry either. So it's finding that happy medium. Um, but yeah, all right, let's do this, guys. Day four. We're about to fill the first truck of the day. I really need to clean my windows. Things are looking a little dusty over here. It is just, it's so dry, guys. The corn, it just, I know you're gonna, you're gonna hear me say it in every single video because it's just so dry. <laughs> I did hear that the price of corn went up just a tiny bit this morning, so we'll take everything we can get. Uh, my dad handles all the corn stuff, so don't ask me questions about price or selling it or any of that because I, I honestly don't know, but he just said it went up this morning, so I'm happy for him. <laughs> the little bit I do know, it seems like corn prices change every day or multiple times a day even. Where like with my grapes, like a set cost that I know I'm gonna get every year during my contract, which is multiple years. But corn, it's like ever changing. So when it hits the price that you think is the best price, you sell it. That That's the little bit that I know about it. I don't know if it's that way everywhere, but that's how my dad does it. So we are going down a super long field now and because of that my dad's not sure that he can actually make it to the end of the field without filling up a hopper. When I say super long, <laughs> this is like a 65 acre field. Is it? I feel like that's pretty big. I'm gonna have to double check with my dad. How many acres is this field? About all total, I think it's supposed to be 48. 48 acres. This is our biggest cornfield. So in another video, I told you guys how we have small fields. So this is our biggest field. He doesn't know if he can make it to the end. So I follow really far behind him. And then that way, if he does fill up his hopper, he'll like cut a little pocket so I can pull next to him. And then he'll be able to dump and keep going. P.S. If you're tuning in a little late to the corn harvest series, these bars that are on my tractor are for the fertilizer tanks when we plant our corn. This is the same tractor we use for planting. Have I mentioned that the corn is dry? <laughs> okay, I know you can't see it, but he put his auger out and he's cutting a pocket right now. So you can see how he just cut a little spot and I'm staying in the row that he was chopping before. There you go. 
Now he'll unload and sometimes he'll just keep driving in the row he's in now. Sometimes he'll come back in front of me, see what he does. So one thing we have in this field, uh, this is the only field that has them this year, is spud ditches. I don't know um, if other places do those or not, but we dig a spud ditch and that's how we irrigate. So we have a ditch and we'll fill it up. And then we have these spud ditches that go um, through the dry section of the field. And that's where the water goes. But when we're harvesting, we have to basically straddle those spud ditches. So it is a little hard to see. These are normal rows. And then here's a spud ditch here. And uh, it goes down this row here. And I don't know, it's every, I don't know, every 24 rows or something like that, we have a spud ditch. Whew. So um, we've done more spud ditches in the past, but this year this is the only field, which is kind of nice. So like I said, you have to straddle those when you're harvesting. But man, this corn is dry. I'm, uh, I'm going to try to talk to my dad about the calmer corn header eventually. We'll ask him, you know, how he's feeling about it and if he's happy with it, we'll find out. All right, we are definitely having a more successful day harvesting wise. Um, it's about 2.30, but we are kind of stuck on our trucks right now. So they normally bring us two trucks at a time. Every time I have one full, I let the elevators know. Um, but we've got both trucks full right now. We're waiting on an empty. They just get backed up sometimes. They're normally pretty good, but it definitely happens now and then. You know, everyone is harvesting right now. So we're uh, waiting on a truck basically. And this field we're in, because it's our longest field, which still isn't that long, but we do move quicker because there's less turning around. So we're just gonna be waiting on a truck for now. Okay, a new truck just got here, so that's good. We actually didn't even have to stop. We like slowed down for one minute and then the truck was coming in. So that's good. We're gonna keep on rolling. Gotta wash my hands. Today for what's my snack, I packed some more nutrient dense snacks today. I've got a little bit of broccoli, carrots, snap peas, and bell pepper. And I already finished my mini monster. And ranch dip. I can't eat vegetables without ranch. Do you guys have anything that you eat vegetables with? I've been really liking fresh bell pepper lately. My sister would be so proud of me right now. She's always telling me I need to eat more vegetables. Doing it, doing it guys.
We are definitely having a much better day. Let's see. Truck five for today. We'll definitely finish this one. And they're supposed to be bringing us one more empties, one more set of empties. So possibly six trucks, but definitely five. So the last few days we've only gotten two. So this is great. Which was not the trucking, the trucking company's fault, it was us. We were starting really, really late in the day. I'll have to text Matt. He's the one that um, I text for trucks and he, he works at the elevators. So I'll have to text him for some percentages. I haven't heard any, any corn percentages today. I was gonna move, but my dad started unloading. Must have just been full at the end of the row, so <laughs> he's unloading into the bank out wagon while I'm unloading into the truck. Got to keep that harvester moving. We are definitely struggling with the dryness today. I've gone out there a few times to help him, but he basically just goes down, uses his leg to pull it in, and when I'm on the ground, I'm not much help, to be honest. dad's really fighting the dry corn and and this is not because of the calmer um corn header kit i just want to say that because this happened to us before with the old header um it really is just the dry corn it's so dry it just will not pull it through mm, he's fighting it now it hasn't been too bad today but he He's been stopping like 10 times per length of the field, the, the last pass. So ah, it's just one of those things. It's so weird because we were testing corn and I think he had like 17% or something. Now it is just so dry. Oh, that reminds me, I was gonna text Matt about the percentages. Yep, 12.3%. It's just crazy. We have never had corn this dry since I've been here. So five years. Like normally we are like pushing it. Like, you know, could be a little bit above 15.5 even sometimes. We'll be like right on the line. So this is really dry. All right, we're finally getting somewhere. Doing a little better this round. So far has not clogged up. You mean like where it didn't grow very well? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna get out from under the harvester and then I'm gonna drive a little slower because I'm straddling one of the spud ditches and I don't wanna yank a tire in there. I don't know if you can see right there the little indent, that's the spud ditch. Oh, he was doing so good. Got clogged up again. Darn it. My poor dad can't catch a break. I told him if he'd put it on the ground, I'd go out there and keep pushing it down, but he wants to leave it up. I'll make it to the end, I think. 
All right, I think this is gonna be the last load. Um, we don't harvest at nighttime for corn. We don't have auto steer. I don't know if there's other reasons. I mean, we just don't need to really. I mean, we don't have any threat of rain. We don't have auto steer. There's no reason to harvest at night. So I'm hoping this is the last load. I think this is gonna fill the last truck. And then hopefully it'll be home from here. All right, here we go. All right, everybody, that's a wrap for tonight. If you can even see me. I will catch you guys tomorrow for day five of corn harvest.